to my channel, so this is going to be a home bargains haul. I have one thing from B&M and at the end of this video, if you could stick with us that long, we're going to have a little chat about B&M. About so anyway, let's get on with this. So the first thing that I got from B&M, there's only one thing, it is this owl. This was £19.99 for the garden. You will find it in your garden section. It is solar powered. So at night time, these eyes glow up. How freaking stinking cool and cute is that little guy? So yeah, we can't wait to get that in the garden. That's my mum's. The next thing, all this now is from Home Bargains. So we got this little, or rather big, bag right here. Uh, we've got the girly version. You can get them with robot on as well. But this is the girly version and it has like peace, love, butterflies, rainbows, Doves, guitars, all that all over it. £1.99, or it could have been £2.99. Who knows, we're on my channel now. We're not exactly precise. So anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you is some flavoured water. This is all berries. This was, I think this was 89 or a pound for six in there. Super, super yummy, very refreshing. I love those. The next thing I got was limited edition crisps. The brand is by Kettle. I love these because these are hand cooked, super duper nice. I love the crunch of these. These are limited edition. The flavour is truffle cheese and champagne. Woo! Damn! So I can't wait to try these. I've never even heard of a champagne flavoured crisp before. It sounds pretty odd. But also yummy. The next thing I'm going to show you are some more crisps here. These are my mum's. Papakes, pita chips, um, golden baked goodness for extra crunch. Light sea salted. Suitable for vegetarians, which is good to know. A source of fibre, also good to know. These are 75 calories, even better to know. So there we go. They look super, super yummy. I don't think I've ever tried those yet. Um, anyway, then we got Roxy, a treat also. This was a pound a bag. Them crisps that I just showed you was 99 pence. Um, yeah, so these treats are called fish and chips. No, fish. Let's start again. Fish and crisps. There we go. Tasty dog treats. Um, the brand of this is Webbox. Web box, there we go. So these are fish and vegetable crisps wrapped in chicken. These are wheat gluten free, dental health, no artificial flavours, which is really, really good to know. You get 200 grams and it is a mega pack value. So there we go. We don't know if she's going to like these. She's never ever had this brand before and she certainly never had these treats. We'll try her on them later. They are a pound. The next thing I'm going to show you is we got some more wheelie bin stickers. We ended up getting the flamingo ones for 89 pence. Um, you don't have to put these on your wheelie bin. You can put them on your wall, your windows or your caravans. So it shows on the back. So there we go. Interesting. Hmm. The next thing that I got is, well, my mum actually picked this one up, a birthday card. It was 59 pence for her sister. So it says happy birthday. Happy birthday, sister, with love, with a little bit of splash of glitter on the heels there. Super duper, stinking adorable. Then we picked up a book for my great nephew. My superhero colouring book. Looks like this. About 99 pence. You get the stickers there. I don't know if you're going to get any more stickers, but they're pretty cool. The stickers are things like lightning bolts, stars, dragons, dinosaurs... Uh, superheroes of course you get wings laser guns all sorts and then you get your coloring book in there I'm just going to flick through and show you one or two of the pictures so there we go it says it says design your own superheroes with over 40 coloring pages and 100 stickers well that to me does not look like 100 stickers That does not look like 100 stickers, does it? I don't feel like it does. Is there any at the back? No, none at the back. So it must be 100 stickers. Um, pow, add patterns and colour to the 
costumes. Zap. Don't forget to think about their powers. Zoom. It's time to save the day. So there we go. Uh, then I've got some pink laces. Are they pink laces? No, they're not. They are pink strawberry trunks. These ones are called, apparently. 89 pence. And the last thing that I've got are two wraps. So this one is in cheese and spring onion for £1.29 and this one is in southern fried chicken for £1.49 and that is all of the haul. Now let me talk to you about B&M because this is really annoying me. I've been shopping at B&M for around about three months now. As I talk I'm just going to be putting this back in the bag but oh also sorry guys let me just show you this new shopping bag that we got. I almost forgot because I had all the stuff in it so I nearly forgot to show you. But we did get a shimmer and shine shopping bag, quite a big one. Uh, this was a pound. Okay, so you will recall in one of my other hauls that we did purchase a DVD player from her, from B and M. Well, for the first time, I tried connecting it up um, yesterday. And we straight away noticed that we straight away noticed that the uh, what do you call it the scart lead that goes from the DVD to the TV. Well, the TV doesn't actually have a plug-in for the scart lead because it's, it's a smart TV. It's not an old-fashioned TV, so we don't have that. Um, so I explained that to B and M, and the look that I got was as if I'm lying. <laughs> I, I don't know they, I got asked if I bought it from this from that store I explained that that's the only store that I do my shopping from when I want to do a B&M shop I only go there uh, basically nothing got done about it I didn't have I did not have the receipt I think I've chucked the receipt with the rest of the shopping which I'm learning to keep my receipts believe me that is happening so yeah i just don't know what to do anymore about b and m i mean as i say it's been three four three to four months that i've been shopping at b and m now and i've already had six things that i've had to take back because it's a lot of crap you know we've had the face masks which are torch chambers and i haven't even took those back yet because i really wanted to get this dvd problem sorted out then we had that stop the dog barking rubbish uh, what other ones? The stickers that wouldn't come off the packaging. I think that's about it. It's probably somewhere else, I don't know. But um, yeah, I just don't know what to do anymore. I've, they really do have some lovely stuff. Beautiful stuff in that store. They really do. And the staff are generally really nice. It's just this morning. I don't know, maybe somebody's on the rag. I don't know, but there was, they didn't seem as if they wanted to deal with it so I don't I just don't know I don't know what to do I now have a DVD that's a load of crap well it's not a load of crap I mean it works but I just can't connect it to my TV it doesn't even have a USB plug in the back of it which I thought was very very odd so the DVD doesn't have the USB plug now my TV does and if that had that then you know we'd, we'd be sorted but it doesn't so I'm gonna to have to buy a different DVD player probably from a better place anyway I have two things here that I did forget to show you so I'm going to show you right now these are another Christmas present for Heather I think these are going to Heather these are more stickers so these are the mega sticker pack now they have one big huge stand full of these stickers and I'm one day we are going to do this I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to take one of each sticker for my scrapbooking because these stickers are freaking awesome. So the first ones that we got here, I think these are round about, so they're round about 89 pence each. Well, they may be a bit cheaper than that. No, 59 pence they are, I think. I'm pretty sure they're 59 pence. But anyway, we've got the Flamingo ones right here. And these you can put on your laptop, in a book or scrapbook, on a bag and a tablet. So you can decorate anything really with these. So yeah, she's got the flamingo, and we also got all these kiss me, and the ones that say is love. I love these. I think these are really cool. So yeah, that's that. Um, 
I don't know what else to say about B&M. What do you think I should do? Keep shopping there? I just don't know. Comment what your thoughts are about B&M down below. I don't know if I want to keep shopping there because I'm sick of buying... I'm sick of being disappointed with stuff that I get. I mean, three months, six bad things. I just don't know. It's a bit baffling to me. But anyway, our next haul is coming on Wednesday. And we're not going to B&M. I'm having a break from B&M. <laughs> um, we are going to the pound shop. And... I'm going to do a shop with me in the pound shop as well. That is the day we are going to film it. I don't care who's about or anything. We're not going to get anybody else on camera, but we are going to film it. Uh, yeah. And there is still going to be a haul, even though I'm filming that. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it there now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button for notifications. Please do leave your comments down below what you think I should do about B&M. Should we... Give it a bit of a miss for a, for a few weeks. Should we have a bit of a break from it? Um, or should I just move on to another shop? Wednesday we are definitely doing Poundland. Because I've been watching some videos on YouTube. And there has been some gorgeous things that people have been buying from Poundland. And I want to get there. <laughs> I want to get my hands on the Poundland. So we're going to go. Thank you so much for watching guys. I shall see you on Wednesday with the next haul. Bye.